Hello everybody, welcome back to my Mass Effect playthrough. Wow, last episode was a long one only because I was talking a lot. And I should have played some while I was saying all that. But I didn't want to be distracted because I felt like some, some of what I said was important. Not all of it, but some of it at least. I feel like I might have repeated myself a bit. And again, I apologize for last episode being a lot of venting more than actual talking to you guys. I don't know if you guys cared that I was venting. Or not. That is... I hit the kips lock button. There we go. I had to fix that. But again, I apologize. I don't think about last episode. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm just going to start venting off the wazoo out of nowhere for seemingly no reason. It uh, is having... Today's been a day, it seems like, for me. I've been following this stuff up about work for, since I left New York and came back to Ohio, to be honest. I haven't told anyone about it, and that's probably why when I was frustrated it came to the surface and I started venting about it. So as I said in the last video, guys, make sure you don't do that. Did I already do this? I did do this already. All that talking and made me forget what I did. <laughs> Anyways, guys, don't do what I did. Don't bottle it up until you're... You just need... To vent. Like that. Vent it out... Before... Where am I going again? it out before you end up making a fool of yourself. Don't do what I did. I should have like spoken to my mom about it or my friends about it instead of allowing my hip to build up to the point where the moment I get super frustrated at the point that I was frustrated earlier where I'm venting my ear feelings out for all the world to see and it's not I'm not saying this because I don't want you guys to know that I struggle I'm human just like you guys just like all the other mar all the other market players all the other youtubers for some reason my mind associates youtubers with being mark apparently probably because he's the first youtuber I watched Which, if you guys see me do anything too close to Mark, I apologize. Just let me know if I did like to tone it back a little, because I've been watching him so long. He has rubbed off on me a little bit. I mean, there are some some reactions that I know are just genuinely me, because. <laughs> like in my horror compilations or my horror playthroughs I can't control how I react when I'm scared if I could control when I re how I react in those games I would just be seen with every single reaction mm -hmm. because when I'm afraid like there are times when I'm on a plane or something or in, a, in just a car I'll start feeling anxious, which this has gotten like way worse ever since I got in a car accident. But I'll start feeling anxious, and then whenever that and, and that anxiety turns very quickly into fear, and whenever that happens, 
I start singing to myself in order to start try to calm down. So if I controlled my reactions in my horror playthroughs, you would just hear me singing the entire time. <laughs> but I don't. I make a conscious effort actually to not control my reactions so that they can be my genuine reactions to things. I just let the emotions flow. Yeah, that's what I gotta do in order to stay genuine. There's one thing that I want to keep, like Mark, is th to be genuine. Like he is genuine. He is genuinely him. And because I look up to him so much, I want to genuinely be me. I don't want to be him. I don't want to be Mark. That's a lot of responsibility to be Mark. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, too. I just want to be me. I want to be genuinely me because I know that if I were to be able to talk to him and I asked him what he thought I should do, it would he would probably tell me to never give up and to just be me. Because he's told... That's the answer he's given to the do you have any advice question that people have asked before. So I want to follow that. I'm not chasing after Mark to Mark. I'm just chasing after trying to figure out who I am in the world. And if YouTube turns out to be how I find that answer, then great. If not, Maybe I'll find it in forensics because I wanted to do forensics since I was a kid and I really pray that I'm able to get it funded that I can get through school and I can do that because even if my YouTube hits off I still want to do that. I don't expect my YouTube to hit off. I'm not expecting anything from this. In fact at the time I'm recording this I have seven subscribers. Some of them are people I don't know. Some of them are people I know. Some people that I know aren't subscribed, even though they know about it. And the fact, so, and the fact that my friends are being supportive. Some of them are. And even ones that aren't subscribed, they're still being supportive in the background. They're just not supporting me in that way. Pro I <laughs> but the fact that I do have friends who are supporting me. And I have some people in the audience that I don't know already. That makes me happy. Every time every time I look at my subscription subscri counter, before I even know who it is, I'm, before I know who is subscribing, I get happy. I get really happy because it means I'm reaching someone else and maybe making their day a little better. And that's what I want to do with my life is to make life better for people. If that means doing YouTube and making people smile, then I love that. If that means following my dream of being a forensic scientist and helping make sure the right people go to jail and not the wrong people go to jail or the wrong people walking free or the right people. You know. And making life just safer for people. Then I love that too. If neither end up being what God has in store for me, then well, it's back to the drawing board and I gotta figure out what to do with my life again. You know what? Whatever I do, whatever I end up doing in my life, as long as I'm making people's lives a better place, in some way, somehow, better, then I'm gonna be happy. That's all I want, is to make people happy. 
to just be me. Be genuinely me. Find my way in the world and to make people happy in doing so. Because I'm not me if... I'm not going to be able to be me if what I'm doing is not ma making people happy or safer or improving their life in some shape, way, shape, or form. Because that's an integral part of who I am is to help people. And if I can't do that, then... Contact. What is life? What is life if I can't help people? Come on. I hate when it does this. When my gun overheats and then it takes like five minutes to cool down. Come on, cool down. There we go. About freaking time. Rick, stop walking in front of my bullets. How dare you punch Garrus in the gut and make him fall over. You won't even let me melee him. Yeah, as I was saying, I get it ha I get really happy just seeing my subscription number go up once. That means I'm reaching another person and hopefully making their day a little bit better. Because I care about each and every one of you. And that's never going to change. No matter, no matter what happens to my channel from here on out, I'm still going to care about each and every single one of my subscribers. Even if you're not a subscriber, I care about you. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to me, just know that I care about what happens to you. And I believe in you. The same way all the other YouTubers believe in you. That have said that they believe in you. Maybe, even if they haven't said it, they do. I have yet to see a YouTuber who believes in you that does not has not said at some point or another that they believe in you at all. And they all say it. All the YouTubers say it, because it's true. I mean, I watch a lot of Mark, Markiplier, and Jacksepticeye, and there's a list. There's a long list of YouTubers I watch. There's only one group that I haven't actually heard say stuff like that, and I don't know if it's that they don't feel that way as well, or if they just don't say it. And maybe it's just that I haven't heard them say it. Who knows? I don't. But they all say that they believe in you and that they love you because it's true. And it's true for me too. On this trip through life that we're going t together we're all in it together we all believe in each other so if we don't believe in each other then who's going to believe in us when we don't believe in us we're all part of the same world the same earth, the same species that is the human race, the same universe. We all breathe the same air, eat the same food. But we can't be there for each other. Then what is life? It's like, what is life if I can't do something to help someone else? Just what is life? Life, to me, is nothing if you can't be there for someone. 
or help someone when they need a little pick me up. So if my YouTube fails and my forensic science fails, I never find anything else to do that could help someone, then I'll basically be a dead man walking. That's basically what I'll be. But I don't believe that's going to happen. Because I may not believe that my YouTube is going to take off. I may not believe a lot of things. But I believe that if one doesn't happen, then the other will. And if they both don't happen, then God will lead me somewhere else that I can make a difference in someone's life. That is my belief. I'm... I wish I could say I'm constant, ca cautiously op optimistic, but I, I, it's more along the lines of doubtful op optimism. I want to believe so something will come out of what I do. I want to believe that what I do will make people happy and help them. But everything I've done up to this point has failed. So uh, at the same time, I'm also afraid to believe that anything will happen. Urgent message from Alliance Command. No, I stopped talking. I'll huh? patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle Come it. Here. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we it's use ED. to simulate enemy tactics in the drills ED is no AI status. Commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware. And it can't access any external yeah. systems. Are you expecting no more treats? Is that why you're coming over here? Virtual intelligence support is critical to our I gave you like VIs 10 to make you feel better. <laughs> and react in nanoseconds. No human. You can really only get that when we're you leaving. You your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. I'm probably going to take him for a walk to make up for freaking him out. Yeah? You heard me say the word walk, didn't you? Yeah, I know. You like walks. Walks are your favorite. <laughs> yeah? Do you want to go for one? You do. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm going to take him as soon as I finish up this episode. I'll be right there, pup dog. Hey, it's up? I might have mentioned a Markiplier earlier in the video. I think it was earlier in this video. Or last video. Earlier in this video. Could be taken the wrong way. I wasn't mentioning them to be like, I'm going to name drop this big YouTuber and maybe I'll get more subscribers. That wasn't what I was trying for. Like I said, I look up to Markiplier. He was one of the first YouTubers I watched and 
I think I mentioned it in one of my Dead Space videos. I feel like I've been watching him for like ever. So that's why I mentioned that if I, if I do something that's too close to Markiplier, let me know so that I can keep myself from unconsciously copying him. Because I don't want to copy him. I, as I said, I want to be genuinely me. But because I have been watching him a long time, it might happen from time to time. Because part of the reason why I like Markiplier so much is because he kind of reminds me of me. It, it, there's obviously vast differences between me and him. Vast differences. But he's he, he's described himself as an introvert, and I'm an introvert. Yeah, I am so so much an introvert. Uh, it's about the introvertedness. It's about where the similarities might end. Moving out. I think he's rubbed off on me a lot. Cause as I said, I feel like I've been watching him forever. It's only been a few years that I've been watching him. I don't. How long has he been doing YouTube? Because I don't even know how long I've been watching him. To be honest, I just remember the days. <laughs> I'd be so depressed and Shepherd. working through so much and my best friend would just flood my inbox with Markiplier of videos. Is now mine. That I, <laughs> not have done it without you. Which is how I came to know that YouTube is a thing that I people them because they deserve do now that you, you can just arrest. sit down and record games and that put them on YouTube and people will watch them. I didn't even Under know that, but that was a thing that you could do on YouTube. Restrict itself to gambling. Up till then, all I'd seen on YouTube was like YouTube These poops crimes are hardly worth and time. music if videos. The issue, my assistants are that very anime well music videos. This game and that, that's all game I'd seen up to that lady. point. It's too late I didn't know this Perhaps right here, what I'm doing right now, was a thing that you could do on YouTube. So I had no idea. I didn't know you could even record gameplay. Disband the gang. I walk away freely. I have not come so far. I remember the first to episode, arrested. first video I, I watched of his I would was his drunk gaming with Cry with that ostrich game. I don't know if any of you remember that video. I don't know. But that was the first one I ever watched. If I do, I didn't subscribe then. You but won't. I'm not so foolish. It's the floods and floods of Markiplier videos were mostly like happy wills and become other light-hearted things that were just cheery agents. and happy and yay! And they would drag me out of such dark places. And then I watched that one where he was like trying really hard to be manly. He actually watched it in one of his looking back at old videos videos recently. And I was like, oh my gosh, I remember that episode. That, when I watched that, that is when I went and I actually checked out his channel for myself. And I started watching his other videos and said, this guy's awesome. I'm going to subscribe because I like watching these videos. They make my day better. And then through Marg, I found Jacksepticeye. I found Omrecker. I found Minx. I found... Wade and Bob and now Ethan and Tyler and all these YouTubers that I never knew existed before. I never knew this was a thing that you could do. And I'd always wanted to do something on YouTube but as I said I didn't know this was a thing and I was like I wasn't like, good at the other things that I'd seen on YouTube because I didn't, I'm not good at animation. I can't animate. I can draw, sure, but I can't animate. I can't. Music videos didn't seem like a thing I could do to, to do anything. I tried at one point to do that and all I got was people going, you used the wrong song for this. I'm like, okay. I, I have plenty of other hobbies anyways. I'll just stick to those. I'm apparently not very good at this whole YouTube thing. And then I discovered 
you could game on YouTube. I said, I game a lot. I've been gaming since the Atari. And I'm like, maybe I could do it. And then I'd be like, no, no, no. I don't have the personality for it. I don't have the confidence for it. And I still don't really. I am very easily discouraged, especially after all the failures I've had in my life. I mentioned in the last video. And more than that, but I, through years of watching Markiplier and Jack and the other YouTubers I watch, they've, watching their videos have done so much for me. And I'm like, I finally reached a point where I felt, okay, I feel like I can do this now. I really want to give back to the world. I want to do for other people what people like Mark, my best friends, the church I went to in New York, my mom, my sister, my grandma, what everyone's done for me, I want to take that and give it back to the people out there. But I said, why not try it? I feel like I can do it. If I just set my mind to it and throw myself four floors into it, which is exactly what I've been doing. Maybe I can reach some people and make their lives a little bit better and give back and do for them what YouTubers like Mark and Jack and Huggable Hipster even recently. I never even knew she existed until we met in the Markiplier group. And, I, and now she, she's helped me a lot. Mark's helped me a lot, and Jack's helped me a lot. Even though only, I've only talked to Huggable Hipster, and I've only, I have not met any of them in person. They've done so much for me from behind the camera. And I want to do for other people what they've done for me. And that's the goal of my YouTube. My goal isn't to make anything off of it. I don't expect it to hit off at all. I mean, it would, it would be amazing if it did. It would be amazing if it hit off and maybe I could fund my college through it. That would be... That would be amazing. But I don't expect it to happen. All I want to happen is to make people's days better. And that's all I accomplish with my life is to make people... Make other people have better time to distract them long enough for them to have a smile on their face. To inspire them to do something to to follow their dreams I will die happy if that's all I can accomplish just to make someone's day better anyways you guys have probably heard me ramble on enough in these last two Mass Effect videos I'm going to end the episode off here go take my dog for a walk hopefully be less blab blabbery and rant rambling in my next video that I record today which will probably be Skyrim <laughs> so I'm gonna go take my dog for a walk and hopefully calm my rambly self down from all this talking that I'm doing not that talking in the video is bad I was actually starting to think earlier today there's a lot of these times in these videos where I'm just silently concentrated on the game and that's not what I shouldn't be doing. I should be talking to you guys. I should be interacting with you guys more. I need to find more topics to talk about that makes sense to talk about. And then I went on a rant about work. That was not my intention for getting myself to speak more but hey I guess it worked right? <laughs> And hopefully it made some of you guys feel better knowing that you're not alone and facing struggles in this life. If not, then yeah, I'm sorry. But in the meantime, guys, like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know how I'm doing in the comment section below. In the meantime, keep it real, spread the love. Thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.